All right, number 26. So we have this question. It says Rita has six times as much money as Belinda. They have a total of 1,806. All right, how much more money does Rita have than Belinda? So we have two persons, Rita and Belinda. All right, and they said that Rita has six times as much money as Belinda. So Belinda has some amount of money, right? And Rita must have six times as much, all right? One, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? Now they are equal parts, okay? They have a total of, so total meaning the sum of all their parts, is $1,806. How much more money does Rita have than Belinda? Now the how much more money part is this part here. This is how much more money Rita has than Belinda. We have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 equal parts. Right? So, we could find how much one part is. To do that, we just simply divide the total by the amount of parts we have. So 1,806 divided by 7 will give you 258. All right. So each one of these parts here is 258. 258 all right each one of these parts is 258 now the how much more part so the question is how much more money does rita have than belinda okay the more part is just one two three four five pieces more than belinda so rita has Five multiplied by two hundred and fifty-eight parts more than Belinda, which will give you one thousand two hundred and ninety dollars. Right? Always remember that you're dealing with dollars here. Okay. Number. 27 number 27 says Sandra collected twice as many stamps as Betty Janet collected thrice as many stamps as Sandra the three girls collected 846 stamps all together all right let's see we have uh, um, Sandra Okay, we have Sandra, we have a Betty, Betty, and we have a Janet. Okay. All right. So, Sandra collected twice as many stamps as Betty. So Betty has some amount. Okay. Betty has some amount, and Sandra has twice meaning two times the amount that betty has okay janet collected thrice meaning three times as many stamps as sandra so janet has three times right that's one two that's one two three times as many Okay, so if Sandra has one group of two, okay, then three groups of two will give us six parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six equal parts. Now, all these parts you're seeing here are equal. They have the same amount. What else did they say? Uh, all together. So, all together, these parts here 
have a total of 846. All right, let's count how many parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, so we have 9 equal parts. Let's find how many does each part have, right? What's the value of each part? So we will divide 846 by 9. Okay? And this will give us 94. All right? So we have 94 stamps in each one of these parts. Okay? So if each one of these little blocks is 94, right, 94, each one is 94, has a value of 94, right, how many stamps did Sandra collect? And we only want what Sandra collected, right? So Sandra collected two sets of 94, okay? which will give us 188 stamps, okay? All right, so number 28. There are th thrice as many boys as girls at a carnival. So there are three times as many boys as girls at a carnival. The number of girls was thrice the number of adults. So there are three times the amount of girls than adults. So the least amount of people there are the adults, right? Because we have more girls than adults and we have more boys than girls. So G for girls, B for boys, and A for adults. Okay. So the least amount of persons we have there is the adults. Now they said the number of girls is three times the amount of adults. Okay, so this here shows us three times the amount as adult of adults. Okay, uh, there are three times as many boys as girls. So this here represents the same amount as girls. All right, another three will give us two times the amount as girls and another three parts will give us three times the amount as girls right so we have a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen parts equal parts all right they said that there were 1,440 more boys than adults. So let's see where that is. So the part that is more boys than adults is this portion here. Okay? Right. So let's see how many portion, what part of this out of all the people, right? were at the carnival together. So we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight parts out of thirteen parts, okay, of persons at the carnival, okay, is 1440 all right now if uh, you know to find the whole the whole would just be some students like to use is divided by off all right and uh, your is here is 1440 divided by your off which is 8 over 13 We change the division to multiplication and we invert the second fraction and this should give us 
1440 multiplied by 13 divided by 8 should give us the amount 2340 okay and this is the total amount of persons at the carnival okay so number 29 so here we have badges and stamps the question said that Rita had some amount of badges right and then she had four times the amount okay four times the amount of stamps as badges she went and bought 276 more badges and after she bought those badges she had the same number of stamps as badges so that 276 represents this amount here for it to be the same amount as stamps all right so let's see how many parts equal parts we have we have one two three four five six seven eight all right and only three out of that eight parts represent right three out of eight parts is 276 okay of the whole now applying the same logic as we used in question 28 to find the whole amount the total amount we would use 276 multiplied by the inverse of that fraction there all right so that will give you 276 multiplied by 8 right and divide that by the 3 will give you 736 stamps right and badges okay now the question always go back and look at your question your question asks for how many stamps alone all right now if they have equal amount of stamps and badges all we need to simply do is divide this by two and why two because we have two items stamps and badges right when we divide that by two your answer for stamps alone or badges alone because they are equal amount would be 368 stamps